And what's up everybody, it is Daydreams, thanks for coming back to the channel for another Clash of Kings video. If you're new here, please hit the red subscribe button down below, we do daily videos here on the channel. And guys, wow, have I gotten blown up with messages about the new bubble thing. So, basically, if you break your bubble now, there's a cooldown period. And what a lot of people are worried about is that it's going to basically get a lot of people zeroed, and I agree with them. It's a, It was a terrible idea, and I understand. So, what Clash of Kings were trying to do with this bubble cooldown is that when bigger castles teleport to hive and they go hitting everything well when you go to rally them a lot of times what they're doing is they are putting a bubble up um and then when you cancel the rally they'll start hitting everything again so that's what they're trying to stop they're actually trying to protect the little guy but what they're doing is actually by trying to protect the little guy they're putting the little guy in danger so um yeah i see that they had good intentions with this but this was just a mis I think a mistake they made. So, um, they said that they're going to be more proactive with listening to the community and what you guys want. So, what I suggest, all of you guys that do not like this, just like me, I suggest what you do is leave them a message on Facebook or send it to them in the game. But be nice about it. Don't be a douche about it or else they're just going to delete it and they're not even going to listen to it and they're just going to think you're a troll. But when you're, when, when you're cool about it and you're, you know, proactive about it, you're... You're going to get listened to, so don't be a douche about it, guys. Make sure you're nice, um, and, you know, your wishes should be heard. And I'll definitely be sending a nice little comment asking them to, you know, switch it back to the way it was. Um, maybe we can think of another way that they can stop that from happening. Like, maybe if you get rallied, you get a cooldown period on your next bubble. So where, like, you know, on the first one, you don't get a cooldown, but after one rally, you do get a cooldown. I don't know if that'd be possible, but guys... I just did the Ancient Dragon Tower for the first time. So the Dragon Tower is here. And I um, I got to upgrade it. But I got to level... I got to floor 24 um, only upgrading it once. So I can upgrade it again. I'm going to upgrade it a few times. See how high I can get in our kingdom. Rick and Belleth got the highest so far. And then you got G and Heroes. And then Ghetto Blonde, Jazz, Clyde, Payne, J Money, me, Yi... Rose, Chad. Okay, so I am healing a bunch of troops. Uh, three hours and 32 minutes worth, so it's maybe a good thing. You get these buffs as you get higher. Um, I can't challenge anymore because of that. But you get buffs as you get higher and everything. And you get a lot of... Um, I got around 100 prestige badges and a couple hundred of these. Well, I, Well, maybe not quite a couple hundred, but... I got a lot of these green stones. I had 242 when I was done. I don't know how many I had when I started, but it was enough to make 16 purple uh, magic stones. So, guys, let me know in the comment section because I my other dragon on my main castle is already upgraded. But on this one, um, it won't be mine for long anyway. But I am trying to at least um, upgrade this uh, dragon. Tell me, do I want to make orange? Um, ma magic stones or do I want to make purple ones I don't know because I've never actually done the dragon myself and also one thing that we need to message Clash of Kings about they need to put something in the store or somewhere where you can restore the health of your dragon because once it gets down to zero many of you know and many of you have been telling me that it's nearly impossible to get the dragon back up so they really really have to fix that it's a serious flaw with the dragon um, I, I was told that you can upgrade it and it would you know what let's, let's see if it does we're going to upgrade it once let me guess the buttons underneath this target points okay we upgraded it so we're at level two now okay it does re okay when you upgrade it it um increases the bond okay that's a good thing so when you upgrade it, it increases the bond but Imagine when you get it to level 13 like mine in my other um, castle and I got it down to zero um, bond. How am I supposed to get it back up then? There needs to be something. I don't care if you got to pay a thousand gold, whatever. There has to be a way that you can up, you can get your dragon's uh, health back up. So, um, yeah, that was a good thing. I got about 100 badges. So, I was out of badges and now I've got 188. So, that was good. Um, one thing I was told is that... The Ancient Dragon Tower will give you a new, like, prizes each day. So, the first day you do it, it'll give you, like, um, 
magic stones, maybe another day it'll give you research stones, maybe another day grapheme stones, and then so on and different stones. So I think it's going to give you, you know, it's a good thing. It's definitely a good thing. Guys, it might not be the most exciting little, like, gadget that they put in the game, but you have to understand that 90% of Clash of Kings is grinding. Most of the people that you see with big castles, they're grinders. They didn't... They're one of two people. They're big spenders or they're grinders. Like me, I'm not a big spender. Never been close to a big spender, but I am a grinder, and um, that's why I've always succeeded in the game and games like this. Uh, games where you can buy packs and stuff, you've got to either be a grinder or a spender, or you could be a mixture of the two. And I think that's what a majority of you guys are: is a mixture, but you know, a mixture of the two. Um, I do talk to a lot of you that are massive spenders, but even you massive spenders. Just from grinding a few farms or uh, these events, you're going to save yourself a lot of money. Like, I got so many magic stones there. Would I rather... Okay, so I think a pack gives you, like, uh, 1,200 stones. So if I got 250 stones there from this event, um, you know, that's roughly 20% of the pack. So um, I got $20 worth of stones for, what, 10 minutes worth of work? So, yeah, definitely take advantage of all these events. So we'll be able to get our dragons and our grapheme stone and everything upgraded so one thing else thing they were they said is that the monsters are going to start giving better rewards now i don't know if it's coming in the future update i hate this um these points are you currently have it's like a glitch and it won't go away and i just want to smash it all right let's see let's see if these um let's see if the monsters give us better rewards yet or if it's going to be coming out in a future update, maybe you guys can let me know in the comment section below as well. Because as you guys know, I learned just as much from this game as from playing it as I do from you guys. You guys are always telling me new things. And someone showed me something so amazing yesterday. Um, but I was sworn to secrecy um, because they don't want it to uh, to get fixed. So, yeah. Shouldn't even have said anything. Let's go ahead and check and see what... Where's it going to be? Where's it going to be? It'll be in Battle Report. No, it'll be... Okay, Monster Report. On uh, Google, that's always in the other one. So, yeah, we already got a Prestige Badge. Ten Blueprint Shards. Four Grapheme Sins. Didn't it used to give you two? Am I right? And I got a Prestige Badge on my first attack. So, yeah, that's a good... Ten Shards is way better than the five they used to give you. And hopefully they don't cap it. Hopefully they don't cap the Blueprints after, like... 20 monsters and hopefully they don't cap the graphing stand after like 50 then hopefully they don't cap the monsters period after 100 so let me tell you guys something awesome and um one of the major supporters of this channel he's always donating the streams party at gibbons came up with an amazing idea to stop the bot farms and that is um whenever you go to hit a monster for the first time literally you could do it either like for the first monster or you could do it for the first, um, every, like, ten monsters. When you hit it, see how this thing pops up right there? That's funny that it's there. But just like how that pops up, one of those, like, CAPTCHA keys. You know when you're, like, um, when you create an account or a, a, a email account and it has that, like, please type in this code to prove you're not a robot? They could have those pop up on the screen and then you would have to enter that in to hit monsters so that would stop the people with the bots from hitting monsters if we can combat the botters guys they'll take safe resources back um out of the game because there'll be no reason for them and we could vote to have them removed from the game and then we'll be able to get all the rewards from our farms that were running manually again which was a great thing about the game is when you could get all these extra resources when running your farms when i built my 30 i was able there was no safe resources so i was able to play it during the events and during the events i would jump like multiple castle levels because of it so that's something awesome another thing um gibbons thought about for the monsters you could do that but then i got to thinking well um once a day or twice a day or once every eight hours you can make it where um to gather resources or to do anything like that you have to enter the captcha code so that would stop the botters as well another thing they're doing is they stopped the updates on the facebook version of the game so it's all mobile now there's no more facebook version of the game um i don't know if they're going to do away with it completely or if they just stopped updating it but apparently that's how the botters run their bot farms is through the um facebook version of the game so i know a lot of you guys are probably going to be mad that it's gone i know a lot of people that use it I've got friends that use it, um, but 
it's going to benefit the game um, in the whole because they're going to be willing to do a lot more for us in events and stuff if the botters aren't taking advantage of it. Remember that. So it's a good thing. Um, but I think if um, if the botters have to log into their farms three times a day to enter a code to um, have them run, a lot will still do it. I understand that, but I guarantee it's going to stop botting by 80% or more because... Um, the whole reason that they run the bot farms is because they're too lazy to run them themselves. So, you know, I understand, um, I understand a lot of people are busy and this game is very expensive, but when it hinders, um, you know, the rest of us and then they take things out of the game for the rest of us, you know, we're going to have to do away with it. So that's why they, that's why they do safe resources and they put a hundred limits on monsters. Uh, so if we can get rid of the botters, guys, they're going to probably do unlimited monsters again. They're going to do no safe resources again. They're going to put really good rewards in these events again. Um, you know, stuff that, yeah, it, it'll be great. It'll be great. So that's one thing that I'm looking forward to is if we can stop that. So I sent it into Clash of Kings and hopefully you'll see it in the game soon. Don't get mad at me if you have to take three seconds out of your get out of your day to enter code to gather resources and to hit monsters it's way better than having shitty rewards remember that so hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this video it's 3 a.m. right now I got lost in the whole debate thing I was in Twitter Wars um, I was up the whole time with the debate uh, if you guys want to see a political video for me let me know in the comment section below I always try to keep that keep away from it because I've always been worried but let me know if you could handle me disagree disagreeing with you about politics and um, you you know not unsubbing or dislike bombing the video just because I disagree with you so let me know in the comment section below your maturity level so thank you guys so much for watching if you could drop a like on the video remember that teamwork makes the dreams work I'll see you guys later on with another video don't want a clash royale video right now peace